Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Jamie. I'm Ryan. And today I'm going to be watching Pulp Fiction for the first time. I know this film quite well, but what do you know about it? Um, I know it's a Tarantino. Um, and it stars John Travolta and Uma Thurman. And that's about it. Like I've seen the cover of the film everywhere. Like that mm, super yeah, cool cover. You can't miss that. Um, but that's it. That's the extent of it. What other Tarantinos have we seen? True Romance. It's written by Tarantino, yeah. Um, Natural Born Killers. I think that was written by him again. I haven't seen Natural Born Killers. So. It's really good. I know that Jamie hasn't seen the majority of Tarantino directed films, at least. Don't hate me. No, but that's that's <laughs> amazing. That's, that's so cool. Cause, like, I grew up on these films. Uh, these and Scorsese, I pretty much grew up on, and it's, it's made me what want to be a filmmaker um you like scorsese films as well yeah and that same and... sort of thing so i think these will really appeal to you and to be able to show someone a tarantino for the first time <laughs> a privilege i'm right excited I'm, I'm really excited that we can watch through all the tarantino catalog and um Colin brothers as well you've not seen many of those have you? i haven't Obviously, this isn't the first Tarantino film. Um, Reservoir Dogs were his first directed one. Oh, was it? I didn't yeah. know that. But I thought this would be the. This is probably the best one to start on because it gives you a, a proper introduction to his style and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and when you go back and w watch Reservoir Dogs, you'll appreciate that. I song. really want to see Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. The full reaction to this will be available on the Patreon. Uh, the link will be in the description. Or if you want to support us for free, just give us a like and subscribe, or even a share. Uh, I think that's about it. Let's get on with the film. I know, I'm excited. Forget it, it's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You know when you go on like this, what you sound like? Sound like a duck. <laughs> Can I get any one more coffee? Thank you. Come. Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. It's like a character out of Ice City. <laughs> I'm talking about knucklehead walks into a bank with a telephone, not a pistol, not a shotgun, but a fucking phone. Did they hurt the little girl? I don't know. There probably never was a little girl in the first place. Well, the point of the story is they robbed a bank with a telephone. Well, I'm not going to kill anybody. I don't want to kill anybody either. Yeah, well, what then? Day jobs? Not in this life. Garçon, coffee. Garçon means boy. <laughs> Love a diner scene. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? I bet you could cut down on the hero factor in a place like this. One minute they're having a Denver omelette, next minute someone's sticking a gun in their face. Pretty smart, huh? I'm ready, let's do it right now, right here. <laughs> Your crowd control. My hand employees. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. That's Bruce Willis in it. I still haven't seen Die Hard. Oh no, that's one we need to watch. Yeah, it breaks down like this, okay? It's, it's legal to buy it, it's legal to own it, it's legal to sell it. Oh man, I'm going. That's all it is to it. I'm going. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They call it a Royale with cheese. You know what they put on french fries in Holland instead of ketchup? Or what? Yeah. Mayonnaise? Uh, <laughs> I love mayonnaise on fries <laughs> like We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. A nice shot. I like this guy. That's a very iconic Tarantino shot, the boot shot. Oh, is it? Yeah. How did Marcel send her meet? She used to be an actress. She starred in a pilot. Pilot? What's a pilot? I don't watch TV. <laughs> You are aware that there's an invention called television, and on this invention, they show shows. <laughs> she started one of the ones that became nothing. I wouldn't go so far as to call the brother fat. I mean, he got a weight problem. What's the <laughs> gonna do? He's some more. <laughs> Word around the campfire is it was on account of Marcellus Wallace's wife. Gave her a foot massage. Then what did Marcellus do? Took him out on his patio, threw his ass over the balcony, like a greenhouse fell through that. That's a damn shame. Well, Antoine probably didn't expect myself to react the way he did, but he had to expect a reaction. I mean, is it, is it as bad as eating her pussy out? No. 
<laughs> I just love how casual they're talking. <laughs> you know, touching his wife's feet and sticking your tongue in the holiest of holies ain't the same ballpark. You giving a lot of them? Yeah, got my technique down and everything. I don't be tickling or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get no man a foot massage. Don't make it right for myself to throw Antoine off a building. I ain't saying it's right, but you saying a foot massage don't mean nothing. I'm saying it does. There's a sensuous thing going on where, where you know, you don't talk about it, but you know it. She knows it. I mean, that's his wife, man. They think they have no sense of humor about this shit. I don't know why she'd let another man massage your feet anyway. <laughs> You're gonna be taking Mia Wallace out on a date. It is not a date. <laughs> Not a date. <laughs> <laughs> so many iconic things, it's like hard to talk because you just don't want to speak yeah. of anything. You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. <laughs> you mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a, I want a burger. Now. You know what they call a quarter pound of a cheese in France? <laughs> no. Because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on bread! It's over there. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> you happy? Yeah, we happy. I just want you to know how it, it, when we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> oh, you were finished. Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I say what again? <laughs> Double dare you, mother. Except Mrs. Wallace. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak, for he is truly his brother's keeper. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger when I lay my vengeance upon thee. <laughs> I think you ability don't last in your days are just about over. It's really nice shot zone. Everything about that, isn't it? The balance of it. And... Yeah. How many fights do you think you got in you anyway? Night of the fight, you may feel a slight sting. That's pride in what you in the fifth, your ass goes down. Oh, Vincent Vega, our man in Amsterdam. That's such a cool name. <laughs> What's up with them clothes? I don't even want to know. I have a feeling that his um, ass ain't going down in the fifth round. I don't know. <laughs> have you made me up? Not yet. <laughs> funny. I'm going to sit across from her, laugh at her f***ing jokes, and that's it. <laughs> I think you heard me just fine, punchy.
What do you think of the script? I like it. It keeps me entertained. <laughs> 18 places on my body, everyone was done with a needle. Why would you wear a stud in your tongue? How sweet you. Vincenzo. I just love the little conversations, like just talking about a piercings yeah. <laughs> and the burger conversation. Like really trivial stuff. Yeah. But then it's like bigger things going on. Now there's nothing wrong with these two. This is real, real, real good. I'd love to know who was in charge of like set dressing platforms on that like <laughs> I've never even noticed that platform before. Huh? Heroin is coming back in a big fucking way. I'm giving you some out of my own private stash. Um out of balloons. Is a baggie alright? Mind if I shoot up here? Hey, me casa, super casa. Don't like needles. Vincent. <laughs> um, I'm on the intercom. Do you right. He looks so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's off his head as well, I remember. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, you just know she's, up. she's just cool as f***, couldn't she? <laughs> she's cool. <laughs> Let's go. This is Jack Rabbit Slims. Come on, man, let's go get a steak. I want a steak. <laughs> oh, after you, kitty cat. I love the light on that glass, then. Yeah. I love it. I've been awake in school all day long, waiting on the bell to ring so I can go home. I really want to go to like an American type diner. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. What do you think? I think it's like a wax machine with a pulse. <laughs> Steak, steak, steak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bloody as hell, and oh, yeah, look at this vanilla coat. I love vanilla coat. You, a $5 shake. Did you just order a $5 shake? Mm -hmm. It's milk and ice cream. Last I heard. Just checking. I'll be right back with your drinks. How young she looks. <laughs> I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. It was a show about a team of female secret agents. What? Fox Force 5. What was your specialty? Character I played, Raven McCoy. She was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. It would have worked in a gimmick where every show I would have told another joke. I'd watch that show, to be fair. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. <laughs> yep. Martin and Lewis. To recognize the waiter role. Is it Steve? Um, <laughs> is it actually him? I was like trying to get a good look at him. I thought it looked like him, and then <laughs> I For didn't. Sure. And then that's the one, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's the voice. So I was like, sounds like him. Yeah. You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. <laughs> Maybe I do. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you found somebody really special. And you can just shut the f up. <laughs> I don't think we're quite there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. <laughs> you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. <laughs> You're like really sweet and cool at the same time. <laughs> I like her character. I knew she was gonna do that. <laughs> I don't think Buddy Holly's much of a waiter. And I don't see Jane Mansfield. So she must have a night off or something. <laughs> Pretty smart. So do you think of something to say? I don't want to offend you. Ooh, that sounds like you actually have something to say. But you have to promise not to be offended. My natural response could be to get offended. But then through no fault of my own, I would have broken my promise. Let's just forget it. Isn't it more, uh exciting when you don't have permission. What did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? Fell out of a window. Mm -hmm. Well, that is one way to say it. <laughs> Another way would be was he was thrown out 
by Marcellus because of you. Is that a fact? That's just what I heard. They talk a lot, don't they? <laughs> so what else did they say? Did it involve the F word? No. <laughs> the time I was told it sounded reasonable. Marcellus <laughs> throwing Tony out of a four-story window for massaging my feet seemed reasonable. The only thing Antoine ever touched in mind was my hand when he shook it at my wedding. When you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. <laughs> I just love him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your word. Mrs. Mia Wallace. Who's <laughs> 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 Oh, I hope they win. Look at his face. Oh, gosh. Oh. Vincent's so funny to watch, and I don't know if that was done on purpose. <laughs> Oh, they won. One drink, and that's it. Don't be rude. Drink your drink. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a like a like a. The pep talk. Mm. It's hard not to like her, like her, to be fair. She's um, a very good character. Mm -hmm. I think I've got a crush on her, to be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get yourself together, Vinny boy. See, this is a moral test of oneself, whether or not you can maintain loyalty. That's a really pretty, like, still image. Yeah. Well, I hope she don't make a move because I feel like I can't resist. <laughs> Oh God. <gasps> oh, she better not be dead. Oh my God. Right, Mia. Jesus Christ. Oh, no way. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh. He had uh, heroin in his pocket then. Eh? <gasps> so she snorted heroin. <laughs> oh my God, he's a dead man. <laughs> he's supposed to be looking after her. God, answer your phone. <laughs> I, <hate that. laughs> I do as well, though. Like, I'm in big trouble, man. I'm coming to your house. Whoa, whoa. Well, why didn't you just go to hospital, the silly booger? What, what? I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. Yeah, he'll get in trouble, and Marcellus would probably find out and stuff. You were talking about drugs. I'm gonna tell you. Look, look. I can't believe he's took her there. <laughs> Do you know who Marcellus Wallace is? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, if she croaks on me, I'm a f***ing grease spot. Come on, help me. Help me. Pick her up. Stressing me out. <laughs> She's my favourite character. What the f*** going on out here? She's all dead. Get the hell out of here. Get the f*** out. you. You too. Oh my god, dude, you told. You will never give me a chance. Shut her head to her, right? I don't go to her about the bunch of mother guns. My face can't handle that. Get shot. You're not talking to me. Start so talking stressful, this right. situation. Oh my god, I can't. This is too much. <laughs> when you said you didn't like needles earlier, or what? <laughs> I think it's ready. Oh my gosh. I give a, I give oh, size at needle. Oh. She's got a breastplate. So you gotta pierce through that. So what you gotta do is you gotta bring the needle down in a stabbing motion. I, I gotta, I, I gotta stab her three times. No, you don't gotta fucking. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna oh, kill her. I'm gonna. Oh, no, she's supposed to come out like that. It's. All right. Ready? Uh. One. Two. That's a nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Something. <laughs> that was <f> trippy. <laughs> So stressed right now. <laughs> I mean, 
Oh, oh, I'm going to say how they're going to take it out, but, I, you know, they didn't show it, which is good. Yeah, that's always bothered me, that bit of matching taking it out. It's like, oh. Well, I hope she's learnt a lesson. <laughs> don't go in other people's pockets. No, just don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's looks like we're on a rider in Beetlejuice. <laughs> if Marcellus knew about this incident, I'd be in as much trouble as you. I seriously doubt that. Oh, bless her. She's adorable, isn't she? <laughs> she want to give her a cuddle. <laughs> you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? Oh. No, you won't laugh because it's not funny. <laughs> Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Baby tomato starts lagging behind and Pop Tomato goes back and squishes him. Says, ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Just your, just your style, <laughs> oh yeah, that went right up my street. That soothed my soul a little bit. <laughs> I needed that after the stress. <laughs> Jesus. Christopher Walken. Well, I can do it. Butch. I got something for you. This watch I got here was bought in a little general store in Knoxville, Tennessee, by private doughboy Ryan Coolidge on the day he set sail for Paris. Put an old coffee can, and in that can it stayed until your granddad was called upon by his country to go overseas and fight. He was killed along with all the other Marines at the Battle of Wake Island. Three days before the Japanese took the island, your granddad asked a gunner, man he never met before in his life, to deliver his gold watch. Wanaki kept his word, delivering to your infant father his dad's gold watch. His watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down over that Hanoi, put in a Vietnamese prison camp. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. <laughs> Up his ass. <laughs> I had a he would give me the watch, he would be uncomfortable and could meddle up my ass. Two years. That's not where I thought the conversation would go in. Thought that was a really nice sentimental story then. Fifth round butch. <laughs> Do we see me or again? <laughs> it's so cool. Hey, mister. What? You're the fighter? Let me give you that idea. <laughs> Tell me your hand. Beating another man to death with your bare hands. What does it feel like to kill a man? I didn't know he was dead until you told me he was dead. Oh, I hope you don't get one in. Can you make spoons? Oh, can you make spoons? <laughs> I wish I had a pot. You should have what? A pot. Ah. Oh. You put belt. Ah. Oh. Because you have one. Should have pot, so <laughs> I don't have a pot. You think men would find that attractive? I don't give a damn what men find attractive. <laughs> I would punch you in it. <laughs> I'd smother you. I'd drop it right on the face. <laughs> oh. I love seeing a hard man soften for his woman. <laughs> it's like the most attractive thing ever. <laughs> I want to, right? Are you still retiring? Sure am. <laughs> if they find us, they'll kill us, won't they? But they won't find us, will they? I want you to be with me. Forever? Forever and ever. Do you love me? Very, very much. Would you give me oral pleasure? <laughs> then she asked. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. I mean, he's just had like a massive fight and he's knackered and he's killed someone. <laughs> Look how much he loves her. 
Oh, Comes back and is right. like, all right. <laughs> you hear me a dry towel on this beautiful tulip? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Donde esta zapateria? What does that mean? Where is the shoe store? <laughs> Donde esta zapateria? Excellent pronunciation. Butch? <laughs> what is this you're watching? A motorcycle movie. What was it about? It's really rare that I remember my dreams. Well, let's look at the grumpy man in the morning. Get mm. up, easy oh. bones. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna order a big plate of blueberry pancakes. After that, I'm going to have a slice of pie. Pie for breakfast? Where's my watch? <gasps> Where's my father's watch? Now think. Did you get it? The apartment. Won't go back, Butch. So I gotta go back to my apartment. Sender. <laughs> back before you could say blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. Maybe not that fast. I don't want him to die. <laughs> What's Samuel L. Jackson's character called? Jules. Jules. I feel like he's gonna just be sat waiting there. <laughs> Nice sound design on this apartment complex. Hmm. Yeah. It's very like authentic. <laughs> this film is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> is it Jules or is it Vinny? Should have said. Should have should have known it was Vinny. As if he's left his gun on side as well as the little bugger. I thought there were going to be a conversation at least. <laughs> Could have. Oh, I liked Vinny. Oh. <laughs> I just don't, I feel like the Jules will be there as well. I feel like them two come as a team. Who would you rather come out on top in that situation? Vinny. Yeah. Like, I'm not as emotionally attached to Butch as the other two. Mm -hmm. Jules has got to be somewhere, I'm not having it. I'll be back at car watch. I really like how it was done though, like it was kind of like a quiet kill, wasn't it? I was like, oh, you alright? Bang. <laughs> Bye. I think I like that there were no conversation, that it was just kind of this unspoken. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm not relaxing just yet. <laughs> That's... Him. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not attached to Mr. Wallace, so I don't want but I don't want much to die. Can I help you with something? Brad you see my bridge. So we're gonna get that mother head blown up! Oh This ain't none of your business, mister! I'm just gonna say that. Toss the weapon. <sighs> Take your foot off here. Put your hand behind your head. <clears throat> yeah, the spider just caught a couple of flies. Oh, well then. Well, this took a funny turn, didn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
You just should expect the unexpected <laughs> when you have a Tarantino film. <laughs> Bloody kinky bugger, innit? Mm. Well, maybe now they'll work together to escape. <gasps> I love him. That's a bad guy from The Mask. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a, a police officer, it's a security guard. <laughs> Guess that means you, big boy. <laughs> I feel like I can't even take a guess about what's going to happen next. I can't even. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Wallace. Come on, Butch. I feel like that watch is going to go up another ass. <laughs> Go on, butch! Oh god, that's a relief. Joe! Do not go back for him. Right, no. Oh no, don't go back for him. <laughs> just go to your girlfriend. Oh, he's gonna get shot. I would just get an attached to him then. Not gonna beat a gun, sweetheart. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, a katana, yeah, use that. Step aside, Butch. I thought you were gonna shoot Butch then. <laughs> Freaking hell. Oh. Let me tell you what, Nat. I ain't through with you by oh. damn sight. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. You do right, Mr. Willis. Mm -hmm. I mean, what now between me and you? <laughs> there is no me in you. Not no more. So we cool? <laughs> so we cool? You leave town tonight, right now. Get your ass out of here. <sighs> yeah, why not? Is everything well? Dad, come on, no talking now. Uh, are we in danger? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are all the women in Tarantino films adorable? Because oh. Alabama is. Mm, maybe it was just in his first few. The it's the kind of woman he wanted. Oh, that was stressful. Yes, you did, Brett. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jules. And you will know my name is the Lord. Hmm? Oh, Vincent Marvin. Vincent. Die, you mother! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that Vinny's gone. <laughs> we should be dead, man. You know what divine intervention is? That means that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullets? That's right. That's exactly what it means. What just happened here was a miracle. Chill, Jules. It just happened. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to acknowledge it. All right. It was a miracle. If that's me, <laughs> you <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> From here on in, you consider my ass retired. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn it, I said don't do that. What do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Think that God came down from heaven and stopped. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, oh no, Paul Marvin. Marvin. Why did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it was an accident. <laughs> oh, man, I told you it was an accident. You probably... We're on a city street in broad daylight here. Believe it, man. Well, believe it now, mother... <laughs> You gotta be real fucking delicate with this Jimmy situation. Man, I was drying my hands. <laughs> we just had to wash them first. I used to say so beauty, and when I finished the towel, it didn't look like no goddamn maxi pad. I'm gonna come here and see his towel. Fine. Fine. Ask me nice like that, no problem. Mmm. God damn, Jimmy. I thought I would see you. Did he make a cameo in all his films? Because in Ian Reservoir Dogs as well. I don't think he does all his films, but he does quite a few of them. I love that for him, though. Good for him. Yeah, I would as well. When you came pulling in here, did you notice a sign out in the front of my house that said dead storage? Jimmy, you know. Storing dead storage ain't my f business. Oh, my God. There's nothing that you're going to say that's going to make me forget that I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, say she comes home. What do you think she'll do? Ain't no telling what she's liable to do. <laughs> you ain't got no problem, Jules. You sent in the whoop? That's all you had to say. There used to be this insurance company, well, there still is this insurance company in England that used Winston Wolf as um, their advertising mascot. So he'd turn up and, like, say, Oh, you've got a problem. I'll sell it. I'll fix your car, blah, blah, blah. And then. And I hated it. It's like he oh, just destroyed that character for me. What you need to take care of are the really messy parts. The pools of blood that I've collected, you gotta soak that up. Jimmy, lead the way. Boys, get to work. Please, would be nice. So, <laughs> You better f do it and do it quick. I don't mean disrespect, okay? I respect you. I just don't like people barking orders at me, that's all. He <laughs> <Please>, is you. <laughs> Pretty please, with sugar on top. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel your look. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Jules. That was just not on. <laughs> How are we coming, Jimmy? Uh, pretty good. I got, I got it all here. This is our best linen here. It was a wedding present from my uncle Conrad and my aunt Ginny. He's just there to do a job, our uh, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> He's just getting nagged, isn't he? <laughs> Once a man admits that he is wrong, that he is immediately forgiven for all wrongdoings. Have you ever heard that? Get the f out of my face with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can blow. Oh, oh, you ready to blow? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to blow. Well, I'm a mushroom cloud laying mother <laughs> <laughs> In fact, what the f am I doing in the back? You the m that should be on brain detail. Mm -hmm. Strip. All the way. To your bare ass. Damn, this morning ass, some chilly shit. Are you sure? <laughs> Here it comes. God damn, it was cold. Yo, Better yo, you yo, than yo. me, gentlemen. You're dry enough. Toss them their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what do they look like, Jimmy? Dorks. <laughs> they look like a couple of dorks. Hey, your clothes, mother. <laughs> Come on, gentlemen. <laughs> like it never happened. I just want to tell you, it was a real pleasure watching you work. Yeah, really, and thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. You feel like having breakfast with me? Cool. Want some bacon? No, man, I don't eat pork. Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Yeah, but bacon tastes good. <laughs> I ain't eat nothing, ain't got sense enough to disregard its own feces. Dogs got personality. Personality goes the wrong way. Uh, so by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality... <laughs> well, we have to be talking about one charming mother pig. I mean, he has to be ten times more charming. What is a miracle, Vincent? The act of God. As I felt the touch of God, God got involved. But why? Well, that's what I've been sitting here contemplating. No, Jules, you decided to be a bum. Just like all those pieces of out there who beg for change. It is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Just constantly disputes everything Jules says. Hey, give me a bum. Got some. Coffee. Oh no. <laughs> to wine, I all shapes and sizes, Vince. I'm gonna take a sh Oh no. Oh no. I know what's gonna happen. I 
know, sitting here eating my muffin and drinking my coffee and replaying the incident in my head. Oh, no. Please don't get shot. Oh, no. Look, his little J on his necklace as well. Really cool, it's brought it round though. I'll, I'll, yeah, mm. I agree. That's great, I love shit like that. I am not a hero, I'm just a coffee <laughs> shop. <laughs> God, this film doesn't half make you sweat. <laughs> it's in a case. My boss is dirty laundry. Stop causing problems, you'll get us all killed. Give him what you got and get him out of here. Shut the Fat man, this ain't <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love him. If you don't open that case, I'm gonna unload in your f face. Three. Okay, Ringo, you win. It's yours. Ringo. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> Don't you hurt him! Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. We're all gonna be like three little Fonzies here. <laughs> Come on, Yolanda, what's <laughs> Fonzie like? <laughs> what? Cool. Correct the mundo. Normally, both your asses would be dead as fried chicken, but you happen to pull the while I'm in a transitional period and I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta go pee. I'm gonna go home. Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Proud of you, honey bunny. <laughs> it's the one that says bad mother. <laughs> He's getting his wallet back as well. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's I want a bag saying that. I'm going to get myself a bag <laughs> saying that. Jules, you give that <laughs> Nimrod $1,500 and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda! He's a pain in the ass, that Vince, isn't he? <laughs> now, I'm I such a Vince. <laughs> such... You read the Bible, Ringo? Ezekiel 25, 17. I've been saying that for years. I never gave much thought to what it meant. Maybe it means you're the evil man. And Mr. Nine Millimeter here, he's the shepherd protecting my righteous ass in the valley of darkness. But that ain't the truth. You're the weak, and I'm the tyranny of evil men. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. Go. I think we should be leaving now. It's such a pain in the ass, that veneer. <laughs> it just reminds me of you. <laughs> yeah, so that was Pulp Fiction. That was Pulp Fiction, what do you think? Uh, I really liked it. I think it's one of my favourite films now. Um, yes, yeah. I am absolutely sweating and full of stress, though. <laughs> It doesn't seem like a nearly three hours long film. No, I've just doesn't. sat through, even in these like swallowing conditions, it's still like, it still flew by for me. And I've seen yeah. it probably a hundred times. Yeah, it was still enjoyable. Mm. Like, I forgot how hot it was at one point. I feel like the only, like, I thought I was sweating just because I was like, really stressed. <laughs> like, holding my breath, like, oh my God. <sighs> I just wanted to breathe the whole film. <laughs> But like in in a good way though, like it get, it kept me really entertained. I could talk about this film for hours, and and one thing that I have been playing about with in my mind is that we do like a a monthly podcast of all the films we watched over the month, and we talk about them more in depth because I could talk about it for <laughs> one night. But um, so that this this doesn't doesn't drag on for it is um, there's a few bits of trivia I know offhand about this. Uh, what do you think was in the briefcase? Ah, oh, um, gold, I guess, because of the glow. Um, and he's like, is that what I think it is? Is that what I said? Oh, is that real or something? Mm. Um, so I thought maybe gold. I, I think I assumed that first first time through. Um, it's never confirmed what it is in Tarantino. So is it like the Bible? No. The first ever Bible that was written? <laughs> Tarantino says it's a light bulb because that's actually what it was. <laughs> it was just a yellow light bulb. <laughs> One of the fan theories that I like about it um, is that it's Marcellus Wallace's soul. It's not, like, Tarantino said, like, it, it was, it won't say what it is, it's just something really valuable. Mm. And, and in reality, it's just a light bulb. In, a, in this case, that's why it glows. But a, a fan theory is that it's Marcellus Wallace's soul. <laughs> um, and the combination to it is, is like, 666 and mm. stuff. So it's like it's 
it's tread in it's soul. Mm. Um, yeah, I get that. Do you know what though? Sorry, I when things like that happen in films where they don't reveal where it is, I get quite frustrated, and I'm just like. Ugh. But mm-hmm. the film was so good that, like, obviously I wanted to see what was in it, mm-hmm. but I just got lost in the film that it just yeah, didn't yeah. become, like, an issue if you go at me. And then, like, I still, I'm not, like, oh, no, I wanted to see what were in it. But usually a lot of films, I'm like, nah, sod what's gone on. <laughs> I want to know what's in what's in the box. Yeah, I, I think that means it really works because I was the same, like, I, I've watched it with people where they obsess over like what's in the case and it's like it's not, it's not important to, mm. the, to the thing it's just like I'm, I'm usually wrapped up in the story so mm. much I forget about the case by the end when he brings it out again yeah you're like oh yeah he's got that case but uh, yeah that was that's one thing um, well the, he said something earlier on oh yeah when he gets his car keyed when John Travolta's talking to that heroin dealer and he's saying oh someone messed with my car yeah yeah um, I think that's meant to be after the, him and Bruce Willis have that little location in the bar, I think it's meant to be actually with Bruce oh, Willis. Oh, shit, it? yeah. That might not be true. It might be another bit of fan trivia, but I think that's... Oh, it makes sense, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, yeah. I feel like it's something that Vinny would do as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not Vinny. Sorry, I feel like it's something that Butch would do as Butch. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, there's, there's loads of little bits, like the script is... Is one of my favourites because it's like really interesting and little bits lead on to each other like in the beginning. Yeah, how it all like ties in and then like at the end when they ended up at the diner, mm-hmm. I thought that was the end of Jules and I already feel like a, a broken heart. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like a line that Jules says right at the beginning where it says, Marcellus doesn't like to be fucked by anyone but Mrs. Wallace. And yeah. Then he ends up getting... Mm. Um, fucked by that other guy. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to watch it again, like just to tie everything in. But these are what I've seen since watching it on YouTube comments and stuff, where I've been like, "Oh, as if yeah. <laughs> it still happens to this day." And I watched that when it came out in like '94, <laughs> when yeah. I was like ten years old. That's what made me fall in love with filmmaking that film. Oh, I can um, see why it's um yeah I can see why everybody loves Tarantino so much anyway yeah. like just them little things them little anecdotes of like how it all ties in and mm. like the key in the car and um, things like that and there's loads yeah. of bits of trivia so feel free to drop your favorite bit of uh, Pulp Fiction specifically trivia um, in the comments there's <laughs> one thing that I really like that coffee shop manager at the end yeah um he's only credited as coffee shop because he goes um like in the middle of the allocation he goes i'm just a coffee shop and then they cut him off yeah yeah <laughs> so he's just credited as coffee <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'll, I'll i'll pace ourselves with tarantino trivia but we will when we've done maybe like two or three more films we'll record a little podcast about maybe with me you and tom talking about the films that we've watched because he'll know all these films as well yeah what, what are your favorite bit do you know? Oh God, there's so many. When Jules didn't die. Um, <laughs> no, um, I loved the whole scene where Vinny took Mia out. I absolutely fell in love with Mia. Yeah. Uh, I could watch her all day, like that character. Mm-hmm. And it's just a shame that like she didn't get much. She only got a little bit. Um, yeah, she did pretty much become the poster face. The yeah, face yeah, of yeah. this film through posters and uh, and art and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it is a relatively small part when you think about it. Yeah, I think the ending where they brought it back to the diner was probably my favourite bit as well. Like, mm. I just, I love that. I love full that in circle. films where they do like full circle. I'm like, <sighs> I like that. I love everything about this film and I'm really excited to go through the Tarantinos with you. Yeah, I'm actually really excited now for Tarantino. I, I knew it were good because of what I've heard, but yeah. I think this is the best introduction you can have to him um we've got a lot to show um jamie on the channel which i'm really excited about especially the tarantinos the coen brothers uh you're pretty up to date on your scorsese yeah i think i think so name some uh goodfellas i love goodfellas i haven't seen casino casino is one more definitely have to do so yeah yeah, there's loads to go um thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this one make sure to give us a like and a subscribe and um, also if you can think of any great films or even just comment your favorite film um so we can put it on the list if i haven't seen it full length reaction is over on patreon uh drop us a like and subscribe other than that i'll see you next time cheers